All right, so I, this is a, a bit of an introduction to predicting products. Predicting products of a chemical reaction means just like this first one written at the top here, you're only going to be given the reactants, and oftentimes in the word form. So in the, uh, not the formula, but the name, you have to translate it into the formula so that you can write what goes on the right-hand side or predict the products of this reaction. Now, for this test, we're kind of easing into it a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to do an acid-base neutralization reaction. So that's what it's called, an acid plus a base neutralizing each other. Now, the uh, type of reaction this is, is uh, it's called a double replacement. So two things are going to be moving around. That's why they call it double, and they're replacing each other. Uh, so let's focus down here at the bottom. So we have an acid plus a base. So we've been you know, naming acids and bases. I've given you the general formula for an acid, which is HX, um, the H representing hydrogen, uh, and the X right here representing any negative ion. So I'm going to write it over here. So HX would be the general form for an acid, uh, which is hydrogen and then some anion. Anion meaning any negative ion. Now it could be just an element like Cl, so it would be HCl with uh, plus one and minus one, or it could be something like nitrate, you know, a polyatomic ion and with hydrogen. Uh, so that's the general form uh, for an acid. So now the general form for a base, then, you could see I have written over here as MOH. So the base is MOH, where M is any metal from the periodic table. So in other words, a cation. So the positive ion uh, is a cation. And then hydroxide. So hydroxide, the characteristic ion of a base. So we have the hydrogen, the characteristic acid, or, uh, ion of an acid, and we have hydroxide, the characteristic ion for a base. All right, so let me get rid of this stuff now so um, we can focus on the bottom, which is, again, the whole point of this, which is predicting the products of this reaction. Uh, now, the general form is an acid plus a base yields what is known as a salt plus water. Now, we think salt NaCl. Yeah, NaCl is a salt. Table salt is the common name for it. But uh, any cation from a base and the anion from an acid, meaning an ionic substance, is classified as a salt. All right, so look at our general formulas here. HX plus MOH. Now, what's going to happen in the double replacement is the positive ions are going to switch partners. So M is going to knock hydrogen out of the way, and hydrogen is going to come back over here and go with OH. So the formula for the acid, I'm sorry, for the salt, is MX, which is, from our, form, our general forms before, the metal from the hydroxides, from the base, and the anion, or the negative ion, from the acid. So you could say the cation and the anion. So MX, and then plus HOH. Now, HOH is hydrogen hydroxide, but we normally rewrite it and write it as H2O. So salt, which is the, metals, the metal from the hydroxide base, and X, the anion from the acid, form a compound. We have to, have to pay attention to charges, and then water. So let's do an example. I think it's easier to see that way. All right, so here's our example. HCl, hydrochloric acid, plus sodium hydroxide is going to yield. So Na and H are going to switch partners. We're going to get Na with Cl, and we're going to get H with OH, which, again, we rewrite as H2O. Now, we do have to do the charges. Sodium is a plus one. Chlorine is a minus one, and so that is the correct charge. And then we also have to balance it. I have one Na, one Cl, two Hs. 1O on both sides, and that equation is bound. So you've predicted your first products from a chemical reaction. Uh, let me get rid of all of this and start over so we have a little more space for this one. So K and H, once again, are going to switch partners. So we get K with NO3, and we get H with OH. So once again, that would be H2O. Plus one, minus one. So it's really simple when there's charges are all plus ones. And if you go across, it went plus one, plus one. I'm sorry, minus one, plus one, minus one. So plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. So it, it worked out. So therefore, it's already balanced again, too. 
So once again, this would be MOH, so the M, this is HX, so the X goes there. So you end up with MX, the metal and the anion, or the negative ion. All right, what about if they're not all ones? H2SO4, sulfuric acid. Lithium hydroxide. So Li is going to go with SO4, and H is going to go with OH. Notice I'm not carrying this subscript 2 when I say H goes with OH. That 2 is there because of the charge of sulfate. On the other side, it's not with sulfate anymore. It's with hydroxide, remember, plus 1, minus 1. And again, we're going to rewrite that as water. But this one's not right. That's a plus 1, but that's a minus 2. So the correct formula for lithium sulfate is li 2 SO4. That's why we've been practicing and practicing and practicing these charges over again. That's why I gave you that ridiculously long worksheet where you had to look up charges and uh, write chemical equations um, and then balance them. Because I wanted you to get in the habit of looking these things up so it becomes almost second nature. And you start memorizing these things because you get sick of looking them up, um, whether you mean it or not. All right, so but we're not balanced now. I have two LIs on this side, so i got to put a two there to get two LIs. Uh, that gives me four H's, so I'm going to need a two in front of the water to give me four H's, and that balances the oxygens. All right, so let's look at the next one, HF and MgOH parentheses two. So lith, uh, this is hydrofluoric acid, no oxygen, so hydro, uh, and magnesium hydroxide. So I'm going to get Mg with F, which is plus two minus one, so I get MgF2. And I get water. So you can start to memorize these. I'm only going to ask you neutralization reactions on your test on Tuesday. Uh, so that means, you know, that's always going to be H2O. So that's an easy way to remember it. Remember the M from the hydroxide and the X from the acid and then redo the charges. We're not balanced though. Two Fs. So a two there gives me two Fs. That gives me four H's, so two there gives me four H's, and now my O's are balanced and I'm uh, balanced. Now the difference between this reaction and this reaction is it is exactly the same. Uh, so though we always say acid plus base yields salt plus water, it could be base plus acid, and it could also be water plus salt. So it doesn't matter which order they're written on on that side or which order they're written on that side, and the same rules apply. Uh, as long as they're on the left, and as long as they're on the right, it doesn't matter the order. So there's a, just a reiteration of it. You know, we have a, uh, a positive ion from the base, the cation, the negative ion from the acid, the anion forms what is known as a salt. Uh, and another example, aluminum hydroxide, hydroiodic acid, aluminum goes with iodine and water. And so, you know, we end up balancing the equation once again. So here's some more for uh, us to try here. Let me, let me erase this stuff here, and we'll, we'll predict the products, and we'll balance these guys up. So there's some examples on the top you could kind of compare to. If you want to pause and try them, whatever you want to do, just want to watch. Um, K is going to go with Cl, plus 1, minus 1, and water. K is going to go with acetate plus one, minus one, and water. So again, I'm checking here that they are already balanced. Magnesium is going to go with phosphate and water. Now this one's not balanced. I need a three there to balance the MGs. I need a two there to balance the PO4s. Um, and it looks like I'm going to need a six. Uh, six plus six is 12 hydrogens. And that gives me six oxygens, and I have six oxygens, so I'm balanced. Um, next one. Well, not counting the phosphates oxygens. Uh, Na goes with CO3, Na2CO3 plus 1 minus 2, and water. So 2 Na's, 2 Na's. That uh, gives me 4 H's, so 4 H's. That gives me 2 O's, 2 O's, and 1 carbonate. And then the last one, barium is going to go with chlorine and water. So plus 2 minus 1. You can see I'm just kind of skipping right along to that. You know, the more of these you do, the better you get at it, the better uh, you'll be able to recognize that. Uh, then we need a two there, and it looks like a two here. Uh, and once again, it will be balanced. So there it is. There's predicting products of a acid-base neutralization reactions 
uh, reaction. We are going to do that on our test, not in our quiz tomorrow on Friday, but our test on Tuesday for sure. Um, and good luck with that. <laughs>